Okay, so the first question I received through a Facebook message from a friend in Ohio was asking me to pray for him and the outreach leader of his church about consideration of doing a booth at a flea market. Asked for any um, advice that I might have. So I looked at the request, I prayed about it, and I messaged him back and I said, well, why wouldn't you do it? Right? I mean, I don't mean to be flippant about that, but uh, I mean, there's an opportunity. There's people coming to the flea market that need to hear the gospel. And so why not go and uh, do that? So I think the answer is yes. I mean, the, I think in this case, the booth is about $10, so very low cost of entry uh, to do it. It's a great opportunity with a booth like that where people uh, come by. You put something there that's a, you know, some kind of catchy invite to lead into a conversation. And then you are able to talk to them. So if you go on the Bazugan blog, there's uh, two things you can search for that will probably help you um, with this matter. If you look up, first of all, the State Fair of Texas Outreaches, and I put a link down below in the description. I gotta make a quick detour here. These guys have their sprinkler covering the uh, sidewalk. So I'll put a link in the description. But when we go out to the Texas State Fair, we get a booth from the Full Gospel Men's Business Association. They pay for it. Now at that fair, it's quite a bit more than $10, but they have a lot of donors and they provide it. We put a sign in the back of the booth that says, take the million dollar eye test. And people walk up to the booth and they go, what's the million dollar eye test? We use that as, <clears throat> as a bridge to be their spiritual doctor, to diagnose their sin and share the gospel with them verbally. We also have people stationed outside the booth with tracks because at this fair, it's not uncommon for 100,000, 200,000 people to come by in one day. Obviously can't talk to all of them, so we hand out uh, gospel tracks. Now I actually met a good friend at a uh, what we call a Trader Days here in Texas. And uh, my wife had taken me out to the Trader Days the first time because she had been there and there was a group of Muslims that had a booth to uh, tell about Islam. And um, she said, if you come with me to the, to the Trader Days, you can go talk to these guys. So I was like, oh, okay. So I went out there to talk to the um, Muslims which I did, and while I was talking to him, she came over and she was like, Carl, there's people over here sharing the gospel. And I went over to that booth where they were sharing the gospel and have become quite good friends with the people that were doing that. So that's example number two. Now the other thing you can search for on our blog is college campus ministry that we've done. We're a typical environment here in some of the community colleges around Dallas is they will allow us to set up a table. And they tell us, okay, at your table, you can do whatever you like, talk to people that come over. So, I mean, the first time we went out there, a couple old, you know, 40 year old men sitting at a table, uh, nobody came over to talk to us. Uh, so we went back to work. I was kind of disappointed and like, man, I really thought this was gonna be a great opportunity. But nobody came out, and so um, <clears throat> I was sitting at my desk at my office, and I'm like, wait a minute, Jesus said he's going to make us fishers of men, right? Fishermen, when they go out, they have bait. I said, what kind of bait would attract a college student? And it dawned on me, anything that's free that they could put in their mouth, we would lure them in. I called my wife and asked her to go and get a sign printed up that said on the front, free water. She made the sign, we made a reservation, went back to the campus the next week, brought, I don't know, three or four cases of bottled water, and the fish were jumping into the boat. This led to a ministry that we 
carried on for a number of years. Uh, right now, due to work schedules and uh, the people resources that we have associated here in Dallas, we haven't been doing it lately. But uh, it's a great opportunity. So what we would do is we'd set up a table, and then at that table we would have Bibles and tracks laid out. And as people came by, we would hand them that with a glass of, with a bottle of water, and then try and have a conversation with them and share the gospel. I'll post links to those articles on our blog as well in the description, and then you can uh, read more about it. But in a short summary, yes. Try it. Go to a flea market. Go to a fair. Get a booth and share the gospel. I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, comment in the comments. God bless.